this just in, you're looking at what is obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the Vecron Pacific Reactor near Seattle. We, we have under control CDC has ordered an evacuation of all non-essential personnel within a five-mile radius. The National Guard has begun distributing potassium iodide tablets. This is coming in live. It is raw footage, appears to be some kind of statement from the KVA leader, Hades. My fellow citizens of the world, today, you are afraid. You are afraid because you have been woken from your sleep. There are some days we never forget. Moments burned into our memory until the day we die. Where were you the day everything changed? Four years ago, one man tried to destroy our way of life. One man tried to throw the world into darkness. It felt like we could never find our way back. But we did. Together. When you were vulnerable, we gave you our strength. When you were sick, we delivered you the cure. When there was chaos, we brought you order. Stability. Safety. A chance to start again. Who are we? We're the way forward. Hello guys, welcome back to some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. In this episode we're playing on the mission Aftermath. Exotype Specialist, we have Right Shield, Overdried and Stim. Welcome to Detroit! Two and a half million people live in camps just like this one. No fucking hell today. They got food, water, security, all courtesy of Atlas. Now, the KVA have the balls to move in next door. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. Gideon can't believe the KVA are next door. Four years later, four years after the detonation of the power plant. And the world's going to shit a bit since, thanks to Hades. 22 days straight. KVA doesn't take a break. Neither do we. Hades will get what's coming to him. They were gonna start moving people back in next month. Then the KVA showed up. Now everything's on lockdown. They're protecting our target. We still locked in on him? Dr. Pierre Danois. He's in the Midtown Hospital. We're green. Four years of hunting down Hades. His right hand man turns up at our doorstep. Fucking brilliant. Hey, hey! Just doesn't look like a very pleasant place, I'm not gonna lie. So I think he's really dodgy about this place. Well, the KVA are next door, so that's making this place feel even more dodgy than what it already is. There's just something about this place that I just don't trust. Luckily, Joker and Kit Gideon are quite chilled back guys. Yet again, Mitchell is as well. In 2061, I'll be either 61 or 62 years old. I was born in July of 1999. An empty city without police or eyewitnesses. So in real life, I would be older than Gideon and Joker and Mitchell in this world. Gideon, Torres, you set? Yeah, good to go. Mics are prepped. The timeline is locked in. All right, saddle up. All right. Could choose one of these. Keep it on autopilot. Bravo, 2-1. Dr. Dan Wall's holding position at the hospital. Clock's ticking. I'm we'll getting some wipeout vibes here. Autopilot. Remember, capture only. We need him to find Hades. Roger. Bravo out. 
This reminds me of the ski this ski mission from Modern Warfare 2, Cliffhanger. Although this mission was nowhere near as good as Cliffhanger from Modern Warfare 2. That mission was epic as fuck. Well, the weather of this place clearly shows the mood of this area right now. Can't believe this is Detroit. It hasn't changed that much. What do you mean hasn't changed that much? Detroit never looked like this. In this world though, Detroit has probably been like this for years. For four years at least, because after what Hades did. I've only got one weapon at the minute. I'll find another weapon later on. Alright, so I'm going to follow Gideon. If I have to pick someone to go, I'll definitely rather go with Gideon. This kind of reminds me, this kind of feels like The Last of Us a little bit. The world just feels pure empty, there's cars everywhere. It just... It reminds me of like the beginning of The Last of Us when we're with Tess. We have to go inside that building that's tilting. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit at the moment. Although, in this game we're not going to see any clickers or anything. Instead we're going to have to deal with KVA soldiers and... Profit, we're at checkpoint blue. Moving through the school. Copy, we're tracking you. This was once a school. Go champions. They couldn't think of a better name for the champions. You okay? Gideon looked a bit spooked for the moment. Only a light went out. To be fair, I've been spooked for things like that before in the past. Remember in the past, I was a, remember, I remember when I was a kid. I was trying to go in my bedroom once, and I flicked the light on, and the bulb just went out, and it scared the crap out of me. I ran downstairs crying to my parents because it was so scary. I was only a kid at the time. Not seeing a place like this will be even more scarier. Oh, lovely. What's happened here? Joker, I've got bodies. Looks like a clean up crew. Hazmat suits missing. Treat all hazmats as hostile. Copy. If the KVA have been operating under disguise, there could be more of them than we thought. Dead bodies in a school? Never a pleasant sight. I can't bear to miss from any longer, it's too depressing to look at. Upstairs. I'm literally stuck. Gideon's literally moving me up the stairs. I tried to go first, but then... Yeah, I got stuck. It seriously feels like I'm playing the, a first person Last of Us right now. But again, we're not going to hear any clickers, constantly clicking. Oh, what's this? Let's walk along here. Why do I think this is going to fall? Those steel trusses do not look stable. Oh, holy shit, there's people down there. Let them pass. Whew. 
What if they heard me whistle or not? <laughs> uh oh. I hope they did not just hear that. Good job they didn't hear me whistle, eh? Otherwise, I'll be shot down. Oh crap. Okay, I was not wanting that to happen. I just hope there's another weapon down here somewhere. Ugh, so I've got no weapon here to help me out either. If I can kill one of these guys, hopefully I can get hold of their weapon. Nice. In case I get caught, I've got a fast reload as well. This hasn't got a silencer on it, so I think I'll have to stick with stealth for now. Just stick with a melee attack. Oh, what's this? Secure intel. Alright. My third intel piece throughout this campaign. Okay, there's people in there. I'm not going to shoot that guy. I think I'll just have to leave him. Hope he doesn't turn. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to stay still. Oh, God. Please turn around. Screw it. There we go. I got him. Okay, I've got two weapons. That's good. That's a good start. Okay, so far I'm not being cool yet. Usually when it comes to stealth, I'm terrible at stealth. I know that's not really a difficult stealth segment, but still. Usually, even the littlest stealth segments like that, I'd easily screw up. I see him gone. Is anyone else back there? Yeah, I think I'll leave that guy. Oh, they're coming this way. I don't want to run too far ahead in case some KVA soldiers do come running around and catching me off guard. They're coming this way? I don't know. Anyway, okay, as long as we're far ahead. Okay. So far, so good. There's bound to be more of them around here, but I think we'll be alright. Oh, what the? The second I say that, I get ambushed. Someone knew I was here. Nasty. That's what you get for spooking me. Okay, I just hope that did not attract too much attention. Oh, I see a flashlight. Yep. Okay, they're coming. So far, so good. I'm doing alright. I'm quite surprised I've not actually been spotted yet. I only got spotted then, but luckily Mitchell took that guy out. I think we're clear. I made it. I managed to do that all stealthy. I'm actually quite impressed with myself, I'm not going to lie. Oh, another intel piece here. Okay, I've been spotted though. It doesn't matter. We're not, I don't think we're going to do this bit stealthy anyway. Why does it matter? Oh crap, get out of here. I'm just going to punch the dogs because I don't like killing dogs. I'll just punch them instead, give them a much less painful way to die. I'm going to get a smart grenade to see where they are. To scout these guys out. Okay, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Okay, Gideon's there, so I know these guys are all hostiles. So I'll get a grenade to see if it targets anyone up there. Oh, that was very handy, actually. Take out those guys up there. MK-14. This will be like the M14 on a fort from Modern Warfare. A bit of a similar weapon. Just as I thought. I'll probably have to find him when I'm not really a fan of these one burst kind of weapons. Ooh, get out of here. I find it a lot easier to melee dogs because the dogs run at you quite quickly. If you just punch them then near you, it just takes them out with one hit. Okay, let's go through. Okay, 
Headshot challenge complete. All right, nice. I think I'll get an extra upgrade point for that. I need a different weapon. What are these guys? Oh, they got a very similar weapon actually. You know, I'm actually doing quite well with this weapon, mate. So I might as well just keep it. That's a new grenade. I think now would be another good time to get a smart grenade. And to scout the area so I can kill just to know where these guys are. I just love this grenade. It's so effective. Especially where you don't know where the enemies are and it easily scouts out where they are for you. That's him gone. Who's next? Oh. Two more resources. How many more of these guys are in here? Use your overdrive. Just bear with me a moment. I don't want the exit shield, I don't want that. This things have been slowed down, so okay, slowing down has now ended. I need to get a drone or something in here, that would really help me out at this point. Shame I don't have to double jump to the boost jump ability. It'd be very it'd be quite handy in a building like this. What's that what weapon was that? Right, I'm taking this. What scope is this? Oh yeah, it'll do. No, it's only a free burst shot, but I think we'll be alright. Oh crap. Okay, I think that's all of them. So we're getting in here? Oh no, we're not getting in that truck. <laughs> that's not going to get us anywhere. I'm gonna get shot at constantly pushing this thing. Okay, so I have to stop pushing for a little while and deal with some of these guys. Right, tell you what. Let's get a smart grenade over there. Oh, that didn't even do anything. Right, let's push this again. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm gonna stop pushing because there's a guy right there. So far, I've not died at all in this mission. Every time I play a mission in this game, I always end up dying at least once. Because when it comes to Cool G games, the futuristic Cool G games are the games I'm particularly bad at. Advanced Warfare was the only futuristic Cool G game I actually got into. I didn't get into Black Ops 3 or Infinite Warfare. I just don't think the futuristic formula really suits the Cool G franchise at all. I think I'd rather the Cool G franchise just stuck with the, um, the modern day Cold War and the World War 2 setting. Well, the World War 2 setting and the modern day setting was what made the franchise famous in the first place. And the Black Ops games. I did like the futuristic game, but I'd rather the Call of Duty games didn't go to the futuristic formula. Can I not push this anymore? Oh, I can push this a bit more. Got a little checkpoint, mean, that's good. If I die, can we just respawn? Literally not far from... Where that checkpoint went? Okay, Gideon's got that guy. Good, because that guy probably would have killed me. Oh, sorry, Joker. Doctor's close. Second floor north corner. Live at all costs. What the? Oh crap! Flashbang! Ah, how's that game? I was facing the other way. I'm gonna head up here actually. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I feel like I go back that door and 
And watch them. If only there were holes in the roof, I could shoot at these guys from above them and flank them. Oh, another piece of intel. I think that's all three pieces of intel found in this mission. I'm not sure if there is more than three in this mission. I'm not sure. I don't really bother going for the intel much in this game. I never really had bothered, to be honest, even before. Every time I play this campaign, I never bother really going for the intel. Only if I bump into it. Because I'm doing the same thing here. But I think I found all three intel pieces in this mission. Which I've never done before. Alright. Okay. Let's breach this door. Ah, nice kill. Don't shoot, Mitchell. <laughs> Seen your pal Hades recently. I won't talk. Yeah, that's what they all say. Just before the screaming starts. You think this will change anything? You have no idea what he's capable of. You are If I were him, I would just start talking. Not today. Bag and drag him. With pleasure. Mitchell, on me. He wasn't gonna talk, so he knocked him out and we'll interrogate him a lot more painfully than what we would here. We're taken to a dark room, like in Grand Theft Auto 5 when Trevor interrogated that guy. He f hit a spanner in his bollocks and electrocuted him. Oh, a painful way to talk to someone. He even not took one of his teeth out as well. Trevor from GTA 5 was just a complete nutter. Okay, we've got the doctor. Let's get the hell out of here. What the? Oh, no. Oh, how lucky are we? Who are these people? Reactionary forces are inbound. We got you covered. Now you take the doctor and move out while you can. I'd like to know who's watching my back, mate. That's classified, mate. Huh. You could tell us your name, buddy. Okay, they won't tell us their names, but you know what? They helped us, so I'll let them be. Let's get the doctor out of here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I can now control it. Nice. The autopilot's not on, so I'm going to have to control this myself. I'll just follow Gideon and I'll know I'll be fine. I'll get out of here. If, it, if Gideon wasn't here, I'd have no idea which way I'm going. Oh crap, oh. Okay, this is quite sense. They really don't want to steam with the Doctor. I couldn't blame them, but they're not going to catch us on these. I feel like I'm on a wipeout track right now when I'm riding along this thing. Uh oh, Ooh, okay that got me, but I'm not dead. I just avoided that. This is really making me in the mood to play Wipeout, the Omega collection that I have on PS4. Wipeout 2003 is my favourite Wipeout game, I love that game, it's so fun. In fact it's portable as well, I can take it wherever I go, it's just... Near the icing on the cake. I'm gonna make it. Here's our way out of here. We've made it. Oh, that is sick. He's literally, they're literally killing everyone that's coming after us. That was pretty badass. Prophet, target is secured. Taking him in for 
interrogation. Get here now. Mission complete aftermath. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really fun. Okay, let's go to upgrades. Let's see what we can upgrade now. Okay. So, I need to want to think this carefully. Detection. Increase threat detection duration. Um, maybe I could reduce my explosive damage. Yeah, that would be good. And reduce weapon kick as well. That would be good. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare episodes uploaded to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll play the next mission. I'll see you guys then. Thank you all so much for watching. This is GoldieX, and I'm out.